Congratulations, guys! <laughs> Where are we going? To the house that we just bought. It's a two flat and um... What's a two flat? It Okay, so a two flat is a term we use in Chicago. It just means there are two apartments. That's the simple term. It is, um, it's super cute. You guys are gonna love it, I know you will. And um, eventually it'll be a rental property that we are just investing in for our family. So let's show you the goods. Just, just putting on the boots. These are my, these are my, <laughs> my business boots. The other ones are the party boots. Okay. We don't know. There's hardwood under there somewhere. All right. That's really good news. Kitchen. Moving into the kitchen. All right, let's see what is under this old vinyl. Just like sticky 90s vinyl. But that might also be stick on tile designed to look like wood, mm. which I think it is. It's just faux. Yeah, it's just like wood. A little, All right, little we'll leave that there. to our contractor then. Okay, we're outside and we're gonna walk inside and you have to get through the front door and then you have the choice of the first floor or the second floor apartment. Did I make that complicated? Entering in, great little entryway up the stairs to the left. There is a door up at the top and then walking in, first floor unit right here. Check out this door. Look at this door. Give me a break. Oh, hello. Awesome. Hi there. What? Do you, where are you? Um, I'm in the first floor apartment. Okay. Show us around a little, why don't you? I have a wood panel wall. Oh, you do. Included in the purchase price? And a mirror. But I also have like eight inch baseboards. Eight. I'm talking about ten. Look at those hunky things. And five panel doors. Look at these. So right now this is just a closet, but eventually we're gonna turn something into, like this might come out to make room for a hallway and that'll make sense in a second. We're gonna turn something into something? Um, but now we're in the dining room. What do you got there? So this is the thing that had my heart beating really fast when we walked through. Even with this broken glass? But look. Look at that little hardware. Look at that little nugget. Okay, what's back here? Um, here is a little bedroom. It doesn't have a closet, and I think it was an addition, but... Yeah, it was. Um, but it's cute. It is cute. It's, it's still cute. 
And it needs, I mean, let's just put this out there now. Every single thing needs work. That's Every just, single thing like, needs touch. That's just a given, but it's Except all, for that ceiling fan. Except for the ceiling fan. Okay, so the kitchen is, um, it's not, it's not laid out in an ideal way, but I'm thinking there's an old pantry back here that's just leaking. Here, come here. Okay. There's an old pantry back here that's just leaking. Oh, and I that's my head. Think, It's like a fun hat. <laughs> and I think that we're gonna get rid of this because this is, um, it was an addition that just has a ton of water damage. So out it goes. Yeah, it's gonna get sliced off. Um, but the kitchen is still, it's got a lot of potential, but let me show you my favorite part. Ugh. Pink bathroom. <laughs> Then this little pantry closet, right? What are we doing here, Emily? Okay, so... Um, this backs up to the closet that you saw on the other side of the wall. Yeah. And we're thinking that this might become uh, an entryway hallway that would lead right from the front entryway right into the kitchen. Um, and then, is this where the stairs are going to go? Maybe. We will see. Because I think we're adding stairs. Duplex down. But we're we're gonna show you. So should we go into the basement and show them? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. We are downstairs in in Chicago. This is sometimes called a mother-in-law suite or an in-law unit. In-law unit. Um, but essentially, it's just a smaller. Usually has a little bit of a lower ceiling. And it's a small apartment that usually has like a small bathroom and a kitchen. kitchen. You can see the kitchenette right there. Speaking of, look at this. Look at this stove. And then here is the bathroom, the sink, I die. Also, the sconces. Um, it's all very, very good. Yes, lots of potential. So Scott, explain how the stairs are gonna come down. Well, we don't know 100% yet, but somewhere in this area, a staircase will come down from the first floor to gain access down here, and then we'll add a couple bedrooms down here. And what's not a basement, we're actually on the ground floor now, but it acts as a basement to the whole building. Yeah. So then moving in through here somehow, we'll probably have an opening here, bedroom number one, this front space here. Probably a hallway of some sort or a doorway back here. And then now we're in the back half, which is mostly like the raw basement, like what you Utility think portion. of when you think of and a basement. And somehow over here, that front bedroom will connect to this portion. Utility closet gets boxed out, something like this, and then enter into what becomes the second bedroom back here. I promise it won't look like a dungeon when we're done with it. Correct, it will not. Here you were in the first floor, and if you want to get to the second floor apartment, some crazy dark red stain on these steps, but overall, like look at that baseboard molding on both sides. I love this guy right here. Once that's stripped and refinished, oh my goodness, too good. Staircase turns at the top, another five panel door, and there's I, Kim. I Dan. wasn't expecting you. Yeah, you were, okay. <laughs> so this is the second apartment here. Come in, look at this. There's a cute transom. Little transom right the there. Door. Once we get that window cleaned up, let some natural light in on that side. Awesome. Okay, so wait, wait. Save my favorite room for the okay. end. Not okay. this one. So here's one of the bedrooms. Bedroom number one. Um, I wanted to bring the wood panel from the first floor up to the second floor. Yeah, we did it. And so that's what's going on here. There is a closet um, that goes all the way back. Yeah, it's real deep. So, all the way back. Also, I will not be denied. I love that 
the family that lived here before painted the trim these like really cute colors, blue and pink. It's super adorable. And then um, there's another bedroom that I want to- Saving wait. it for last. I want to wait for What's over here behind you? Okay, so in here is a bathroom. We don't have electric, but I just want to show you a few things. There's a skylight up there. We're going to try to save it, but we think it might have been roofed over, so we'll see. Um, and then there's another cute pedestal sink. And then if you come into here, it's a cute archway. All the walls are plaster, so. Lots of cracking. I think we're gonna um, do every effort to salvage the plaster where we can. But this is the living room. This is the one area that does have the hardwood floors going for it. But they're it. very thin, like inch and a half. But we're still thinking we can salvage We're gonna them. try to sand them. We think they'll sand down okay. This used to be a bedroom, so it does have a pretty good sized closet off the living room as well, with a shower curtain for no reason. Nobody knows why. I also left another note. Just kidding. I, just so you know, I did leave this note. Make yeah. every day your masterpiece, but I do stand by that. We're trying. And this is the kitchen, which is so adorable. Um, it's. I think, I guess it's the same size as the one downstairs. Yeah, I think so. But um, it has the pitch ceiling from the roof line. And then um, look at that little sink. Sink this unit. There's vintage sink, which is super cute. Yeah. I probably shouldn't touch it, honestly, but. Yeah, who knows. It's really but cute. great light up here leads out to a back deck with a cute little space, needs some love, but. Good condition overall, great bones. And then this little pantry here is probably gonna become a laundry closet, we think. What's your this, favorite okay, space? This is my favorite room. So this is another bedroom. So up here we have two bedrooms, a bathroom, kitchen, living. Um, and if you come in here, it's so sweet. It's so, so, so sweet. Um, I love the wallpaper. I mean, we're not going to keep it, but right now I just love how adorable everything is. The blue trim, the salmon ceiling, the Tiffany blue light. Again, closet space is actually pretty, pretty generous in here. Okay, so here's the 360. So front window, look at that ceiling. It's so good. It will be. And then back here, look at those doors. We're not keeping these floors, but look in the sunlight. I don't know if you can catch this, but they have um, they sparkle. Gold flex. Next time you see this space, hopefully we will have some more plans. And Scott, come here. Yep. Okay. We're working with an architect and our contractor, so we're bringing a team in. This is not just us. Right. And we're going to continue to share all of it. All of it. We're going to share all of it. So, yeah. Hope you like it. Oh my gosh, the door started closing creepily. Did you do that? It's probably just when I stepped in. Ah! Oh my god. Is it haunted? No, it's just, it gets caught on the carpet, and if it doesn't, then it just goes by itself, see? Mm, I'm calling that a ghost. Nah, you'd be wrong. Okay. <laughs>